That stands for New Mexico. You're watching KLB4 News at 6.30. An 18-year-old used an assault rifle and several other guns to kill three beautiful souls and injure six, including two police officers. It was a day of terror and ultimately tragedy. Officials say a teen armed with multiple guns shot people at random last month in a Farmington neighborhood before he was killed in a shootout with police. This, however, is just one of the many examples Democrats are pointing to in support of a new gun rule. Lawmakers spent a significant amount of time debating the rule on Capitol Hill yesterday. Republicans pushed a resolution to overturn the rule. Democrats argued that it would save lives. So you may be wondering, well, what's the rule? And what is Congress doing about it? Tommy Lopez takes a closer look. Last month, there were two mass shootings in my district, one in Farmington and another in Red River. New Mexico Representative Teresa Ledger Fernandez took to the House floor Tuesday. She was opposing House Joint Resolution 44. Instead of addressing gun violence, Republicans stand with the gun lobby to make it easier to evade gun safety laws. The resolution is short, simply stating the House and Senate disapprove of a rule from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives regarding stabilizing braces on pistols. The rule states that any brace which allows a pistol to be fired from the shoulder converts that pistol into a short-barreled rifle. Short-barreled rifles are more heavily regulated and must be registered with ATF. Owners must also pay a fee when they register. This is a blatant ass assault on our Second Amendment rights that makes 29 million Americans, including many veterans, subject to up to 10 years in prison and numerous fines. Republicans opposed the rule, saying it will criminalize otherwise law-abiding citizens. Democrats argue the rule will save lives. People are dying in this country on a regular basis. Massacres are happening on a regular basis, and we're on the floor to basically make it easier uh, for people to have access to an accessory that can make a gun more deadly and more accurate uh, that can kill more people. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Stabilizing braces were originally developed to allow disabled veterans to fire one-handed by strapping the gun to their arm. Democrats pointed out the braces and pistols would still be available and legal to purchase. The status of a gun will only change once the brace is attached. Listen, if it looks like a rifle, shoots like a rifle, and kills like a rifle, we should treat it like a rifle. That's common sense. While Republicans said the rule change will only impact law-abiding citizens. The last thing that is on a criminally deranged person's mind is what is the legal status of my firearm? Is this a pistol? Is this a rifle? Is it a short barrel rifle? How much time will I get when I go on this suicide mission? If for, for doing this because of the legal status. The resolution passed the House. If passed by the Senate and signed, Congress will be able to overturn the rule, but they may not have to. A legal fight over the rule is already playing out in the lower courts. Just last month, the ruling from the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals temporarily blocked the rule from taking effect. The case is expected to head to the Supreme Court, and Republicans are confident it will be struck down. Everybody who follows this understands that the court is almost certain to strike this down. We've already seen it happen in the Fifth Circuit. Tommy Lopez, KOB4.